Grr, reading some Cartoon Rage, I'm back with more of the ball. <laughs> Do I really have to say what happened last time? Because, well, really, outside of just solving puzzles, nothing happened. And okay, that does work. And I don't even need the ball for it, actually. Alright, come along. Spheres first. Get in there. Okay. I know we rotated, I'm just not sure if this is the right way or not. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Can't put that on that. Now I stand on it. Ugh. Just ever so slightly float. I'm not sure if we need to be in this room yet. Okay, back to the spinny thing. Let's press the left one again. Well, technically we're not rotating, it's the walls that are rotating. Yeah, this is the way we came, so... Alright. That means there is something we have to do here. Because the, our other way was blocked, and then the last one looked like to be the door out of here. Resounding gong, so I... Hmm. And one more. Ah. Very cool. Very clever. Not clever enough, it seems. It looks like I need to hit these a little bit more. There we go. Very complete. It's like ancient ruins of aperture science. Not that that's a bad thing, of course. Okay, so, what is this, then? Not terribly sure. But this should be our exit, I think. Yeah. And we have company. So, spheres first. Eh, guess they don't want to play catch. Oh, watch out, monkey. There's actually a stat on the uh, in-between level screen to on how many monkeys are killed, so I'm trying to avoid them just in case it's something bad. Even though this monkey doesn't have any uh, level of self-preservation. Oh, look, you found friends. Another elevator. A 
Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. And that somewhere is up. Hmm. Now what? Let's go to back down here and... Oh, okay. Alright, that's only a temporary thing, so... Oh... Uh, was this here before? Or did I miss this, or...? Uh, sometimes it... I uh, wonder about myself. But, there we go. Oh, goody. It's like off, uh, most ext Okay, it looks like no fall damage. Run, monkeys, run! Uh, most extreme elimination challenge, I think it was. Yeah, the spoof dub of a Japanese game show. Where you have to duck under one and... There's a, there a particular game on it where you had to duck under a, an object and jump over one while standing on a rotating object just like this. I wonder if these developers were fans of that show. Actually, it doesn't look like I can jump over that. Maybe I'm just supposed to be in a particular spot. Let's take a look at this. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm an idiot. I needed to be further in. And now we run out and hit the button. Which does something. That opened up a door, didn't it? I think it's this one. I wish there was, uh, the light showed which way to go. Or even if the arrows were more prevalent in the level design. Uh, checkpoint, so I'm guessing this is right. Oh, so there were one of these puzzles? Hope I don't have anything chasing me around. Okay. Over here. Oh, great. Platforming. Just what I need. Platforming. And I'm assuming that the ball's in the wrong position as well. No? I have a button to press. Easy. First heard some platforming is always fun. Okay. I think I know what's going on now. We need to get the ball into that little pocket. Where is the ball? Come on. Not terribly difficult, but at the same time, rather infuriating. Come on. Into here. Good ball. Good. Stay. Stay. Right there.
There we go. Now this should do something. Oh, it's like a Soviet button. A Soviet button. Ugh. Soviet Russia, the buttons press you. Okay. I guess we're going to have to get the ball over here, though. I'm actually impressed I've gone this long without falling. Come on. Oh, oh we gotta get, get it through here. Yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna be a let's play that I don't that I have long periods and I'm not gonna be talking all that much. Who knows, maybe it'll be my most popular one yet. <laughs> There we go. And into the channel. Here it comes. There we go. Oh, crap. I thought I heard something. Well, I guess it was just the ball. Oh, look, it's him again. He does not look friendly. No, not in the slightest. Oh, great. I guess he doesn't want the ball, though. Ooh, fish. Hey, the fish have AR. It's like Call of Duty. You know, because fish never swam away from players before. That's it. No monkeys killed that time. We saved the monkeys. Hope there's no absurd time limit on how long I can hold my breath. Oh, oh we're writing. With their guidance. Mankind built the cities of Teotl. Deep inside the violent mountain, safe from the furies of the netherworld. Until the caretakers wrought the plague. And so mankind fled back into the daylight and left them buried. They must never get out. That looks like a nice little town. I imagine there'd be some very, very pale people here, though. You know, with no sunlight, no tanning. Unless the gods provided them with the knowledge to build a tanning booth. But, uh, oh, what are those? The flying creatures, by the way, in case you're not watching all that closely. Come on, ball. There we go. But yeah, I'm hoping that the gods then, uh, yeah, had better knowledge in tanning beds. Because, come on, we have those. And the gods previously gave them instant trees.
I guess they're happy to see me. Come on, when all else fails, go for the dick joke. Oh, I broke it. And they are pissed. I have to admit, this is the best ball paced combat I've ever played. And because I never had a GameCube, so I'd never had Super Monkey Ball, uh, it's about the only ball based combat I've ever played. Oh. There was no difficulty settings on this, by the way, that I saw. So, this is how the designers th intended it. Are right, anyone else? No? Our little arena's done? Oh, that was another button. So, now what? Oh, okay. I imagine it falling down there would be bad. Hmm. Looks like a place where they had had a secret. Actually, let's go exploring a little bit, then we'll continue on. I mean, it definitely looks like something bad happened here. Besides, all your baskets are empty, so... Yeah, nothing hidden that I can see. If it's hidden I can't see it, then it's really hidden. And I wonder if we should call it an early episode because, well, we're already almost at 20 minutes and this game only saves at checkpoints, so. Yeah, it probably is a Good time to stop right here. Take a little peek ahead at the next room, though. Spikes of Doom. As a matter of fact, I think I know what you're supposed, what we're supposed to be doing here already. But we'll leave that for the next time. Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.